Oh, what's up guys? I'm holding an interesting product in my hand. This is the cheapest tactical first aid kit that I could find on Amazon. I thought we would check to see what they're actually offering on there. I don't have high hopes. I'm sure you guys don't either, but let's break it open. Let's see what they're throwing out there to people as a survival first aid kit. Is it crap or is it good? Let's check it out. But first, I've run out of time here at Grunt Proof HQ. We need to head back to my home base in Germany where I can actually open this thing out on a nice clean floor and give you guys a good overview. So let's go. Here we go. We're already here. Let's get to it. Sorry about the echo, guys. I forgot my closed microphone. So I'm gonna speak up a little bit. Hopefully we can make this work. As you can see, I've left it totally in the wrapper. It has remained unopened since I received it. I flew with this to Grunt Proof HQ in the Sierra Nevadas, California. Never got the chance to open it there. I've brought it all the way back to Germany with me. This thing has already seen some help. Let's break it open and see what Amazon has to offer. Let me know down below before we get started how you think this is going to work out. All right, bring you guys down here so you can see exactly what's going on. So let's break it open. So it's actually a pretty tough feeling canvas. Um, zipper seams are right. The outside of the package, besides kind of the moto patches, seems to be pretty cool. You got a molly strap on the back. You've got some tie offs so you can leave this hanging and you've got this monster clip on the front. So you've got a giant red pull handle. So obviously it's a first aid kit. This looks like a Swiss symbol, but it's actually their first aid cross. Okay, as you can see, this is all brand new in the wrapper. So it looks like we've got a decent amount of stuff in here for now. Let's set it up. So elastic gauze bandage. Let's see if there's a packing list in here because any true first aid kit should have a packing list. That's kind of cool. That's so you can um, remove this thing fairly quickly and detach it from your gear or whatever you're carrying it on. Interesting. There is a warranty card. Everlit is the company. EverlitSurvival.com. Where are they made? Probably not in America. You got a little contact card. So I'm not seeing a packing list, guys. So I'm just going to pull it out and we will go from there. Okay, so gauze, we're gonna start separating stuff. More gauze, cotton balls, which could also be used to help you start fires. So could the gauze, more cotton balls. Soap wipe, which I'm assuming is a antiseptic, like an alcohol rub. Insect sting relief pad. This is like one of your benzocaine pads. That's actually kind of handy, you know, because um. I know some people who just absolutely cannot handle mosquito bites. So this is kind of starting to look like a general first aid kit. Nothing wrong with that. So we got waterproof elastic. So this is a band-aid, a bunch of band-aids. So I guess they can't use the trademark term band-aid, whatever, it is a bandage. Sterile gauze swab with alcohol in it. A larger adhesive gauze pad. That's always good to have. Alcohol prep pads, got a whole bunch of them. Cool. So let's check out some of these tools. I'm actually going to set this up how I want it. So we got some scissors, standard medical scissors. Now this is for cutting tape, but also clothes. And remember, I grunt proof everything I get. I'm going to take this kit with me and I will also be testing these scissors. They actually seem to function pretty well, you've got a decent ribbon in there holding them together. So we've got a ferro rod system and you have your striker attached to it. That is uh, pretty neat, man. I think this thing costs 19 bucks. I'll put the proper price up on the screen. I've seen some of these ferro rod systems cost 19 bucks on their own. So does it work? It's probably got coating on it so you'd have to scratch all that crap off and it works. Look at that. Pretty well. Working ferro rod. Survival bracelets. 
Now, I've actually mentioned that I like to wear these. The compasses on these suck and the ferro rod may or may not work all the time. It barely works. There we go. It works pretty well, look at that. However, the best thing on these is the whistle. This is good to help somebody find you because you can't yell all day in the woods if you're lost or need help. Whistles are good for that. And I've noticed some of the wild animals that I could vaguely see in the distance when I was on foot in the woods. I would put a couple toots on this thing and they were gone. Can't say the same thing about docile park animals that are used to people and all that, but as far as actual wild animals, they don't like noise and they didn't like this thing. So that's pretty cool. If there was a packing list, this would probably tell us the length of paracord we have here. But I would say this is a decent amount on here just because it is a full size bracelet. Okay, we've got an emergency poncho. This should probably have some of the reflective stuff on the inside. So we got 50 by 80 inches. Good enough for one person, one size fits all. No, it's basically a giant trash bag. No reflective stuff. Okay, so we're going to try this out one day. That'll be fun. A couple Kim lights, which they call glow sticks. 12 plus hours. We will try that out next camping trip. Two of those. Looks like we have a little flashlight in here. Does it work already? Probably does not have batteries. Looks like your standard LED style small light. I'm not going to expect too much out of this because it does come in a very cheap first aid kit. So we will play with this on camping trips and we'll also see if it's durable at all. So a 40 by 60 centimeter dressing. This would be your larger gauze to wrap around something. Maybe a guy has a burn on his arm or you've used a couple of these small ones and you just wanna cover it. And we've got a ton of Q-tips, very cool. So good for weapons cleaning, getting into any kind of crevices like your ear or any other place. You can also clean out wounds with these, if, especially if you're trying to get debris out of a burn wound or something. And you have the alcohol pads to help clean them up a little bit. That's kind of cool, I like that. Ah, okay, here is the Mylar blanket, emergency thermal blanket. Of course they have the reflects 90% of body heat claim, blah, blah, blah. They don't really work like that, but they do reflect your body heat, making a miserable night less miserable. So we will play with this. Maybe we'll combine it with this and see if we can sleep. I know it will not work on a freezing night, but maybe a cool summer night or a fall night, we could combine those and be okay. This appears to be a tongue block. If somebody is losing their airway. Quick saver, mouth to mouth resuscitation device. Did you guys ever hear about these? Last I learned uh, CPR, man, you just put your freaking mouth there. So it looks like this is some kind of gadget where you just kind of silence of the lambs this dude's face and use this somehow. It's got a one-way inlet. Hmm. That's interesting. I think I'll put it back in that plastic bag though. Because it is going to be going over somebody's mouth one of these days. Not mine. Okay, then we got some tweezers for obvious uses. These are pretty handy. Running out of stuff. So then we got this extra detachable pocket. Let me just say that it is cool that it just opens up flat like this. So you basically have access to everything you need and you have stuff compartmentalized based on the scenario you could be dealing with, the possible trauma you're looking at. That's how we would generally set up our combat lifesaver bags and IFACs. So it is pretty cool. You could just lay it out and access everything. Gloves, latex examination gloves. Very handy if you're dealing with nasty stuff and you have time to put them on. This uh, some kind of cutting blade. Dude, what, they got like a bone saw in here? Are we amputating? Oh, we got like a little multi-tool with the saw blade on it. What I like is that it tells you everything. So we've got multi-purpose pocket survival tool. There you go. Yeah, I'll just read it for you guys. So we got a can opener, a knife edge, a ruler. There you go. 
screwdriver cap opener, four position wrench. Okay, so for nuts and bolts, that would be right here, I believe. Um, a saw blade, so there's your knife edge. Direction ancillary lanyard hole key ring hole. Okay, so you can mount stuff to it. That is crazy. This is your can opener right here. That's like your P38 thing. Interesting. <laughs> We will play with that in the field for sure. Okay, so medical tape. This is the first medical tape I've seen. Everything looks pretty good so far, but I would no-go this bag in any kind of layout or inspection for the amount of medical tape that is in there. Guys, if you're talking about any kind of serious wounds or any issues in the field, that is not enough medical tape, not even close. You would run out of this before you would even dress one serious bandage on an injury. So that's the first gig so far. Not bad, <laughs> but no go on the medical tape. They actually give you plenty of safety pins for holding up dressings. One thing I did not see is a handkerchief or what we used to call just a field dressing. They actually come with these too to help you fasten those dressings. Oh, here it is. Triangular bandage. So this is like your field dressing or cravat that we used to get issued where it was basically a triangular cloth. So there are your multiple uses, head wrap, hand wrap. So this is the thing that you would most likely use with those safety pins and we'll play around with that. And then we actually have a knife. They give you a knife with this thing. Not bad, it's got a decent edge on it too. So it's not serrated, bummer, I like serrated edges. Uh, you've got some kind of hook system on the outside, which is kind of half open. That's strange. The unlocking device also appears to be part of your carabiner function. Interesting. So, a free pocket knife included. Not a bad deal. Okay, that is it, guys. I'm going to load this back up. Very cool that it has plenty of room to get everything back in there. And then you can also add stuff. So you can add some cats on the side, a whole bunch of stuff on the top. That's pretty cool, man. There's plenty of room for additions. Or if you're a dummy and can't repack these, you have room to do it wrong and still get the thing closed. Nothing worse than having a CLS kit that you can't freaking close after you've opened it anymore. Thank you for joining me. Let me know what your thoughts are below. How do you think this is going to perform? I'm actually impressed for the amount of money this cost. I had very low hopes. Um, however, looking at it, I'm going to add some medical tape. I might add um, a couple scarves or something like that to it. Maybe some water purification tablets. And there is room to add stuff to this. Other than that, we will see how some of this stuff performs in the field. But I think for the price, this is actually not a bad deal. So I'm freaking impressed. So Everlitz, unlike a lot of the Amazon companies, if you guys actually stick around for longer than a few months, this seems like a decent product so far. I don't know where you're from or what, but we're gonna play with this in the field and we will definitely grunt proof the hell out of it. And I will let you guys know how it does. So for the rest of this summer, make sure you check out my camping videos because you will see a few items from this bag being utilized and I will reference this video as well. Thanks for watching guys. Make sure you like and subscribe and click that bell so you get notified for every new video. And until that new video, I will see you guys in the outdoors. Take care of yourselves.